The Miami Dolphins have seven tight ends on their roster as training camp closes in. In just over a month, the offseason will come to a close. Training camp is going to be interesting for the Dolphins' tight end group. Seven players are on a roster that will keep four at the most. Two players are heading towards a 2022 free agency period, two are rookies, and two are promising young players who could still become very good while the last one is a seasoned veteran. Ranking the tight ends on the current roster has to begin with Mike Jasicki so, in reality, we need to know who is the best of the remaining six are. Jasicki is heading towards a 2022 free agency shot if the Dolphins do not retain him. Working in his favor is that he has gotten better in each season since being drafted but the downside is that he was not drafted by Brian Flores and Chris Greer but instead, part of the Adam Gase, Mike Tannenbaum, Chris Greer draft class. Jasicki remains the best pass-catching tight end on the Dolphins roster and overall he is still the best on the unit. Here are the others, Jibra Blunt. Blunt has no experience playing football but he knows the game. His father is Hoffair Mel Blunt. Jibra is a prime candidate for the practice squad as he has almost no chance of making the roster. The former basketball player is going to learn a lot about the NFL in the coming weeks but he needs to show he can compete at this level and has an aptitude to learn the game. Chris Myurik. There have been some flashes but Myurik simply lacks experience. He didn't get much last year and the lack of preseason games didn't help. He will get to show this camp he belongs but for now, his lack of experience is going to be an uphill climb. Seathan Carter. Three years with the Bengals has taught Carter that the NFL is a tough place to play. He has only five starts, all coming last season, but has appeared in all but two games during his three years. He has seven catches for 66 yards and one touchdown. Hunter Long. It could be argued that an unproven rookie should be at the bottom. Long hasn't even signed his rookie contract yet. That being said, he statistically put up numbers similar and in some categories, better, than Kyle Pitts last season. That is not to say that Long is a better prospect but his physicality and athleticism make him a better prospect than those below this spot. Durham Smythe. Smythe was drafted in the mid-rounds of the same draft that brought Mike Jasicki to Miami. More a blocker than a pass catcher, Smythe has been consistent when given the chance. He has 39 receptions for 323 yards and two scores. Adam Shaheen. After spending his first three seasons with the Bears, he joined Miami in 2020 and made an impression. The Dolphins gave him a contract extension, albeit a small one, and he should factor into the Dolphins' plans this year. He has started 18 games and has 38 receptions for 399 yards and seven touchdowns. Three of those coming last year.